Hey, this is Momentum, and I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of how to do, of how to reborn. And just to say real quickly, first you want to do all ten of the program X missions after you have unlocked it. And once you do that, you're going to click go to here. You're going to click begin protocol after you've gotten ten release tokens. And go through. I'm going to say preparing release protocol, and we shall wait. Now I will say I've reborn 11 times, this is my 12th, the very first time it took me about 10 to 15 tries, let's say like an hour, hour and a half, it's basically just the tutorial on like hard mode. I would recommend if you're going to use a setup, use this amp, use these amps and this rig makes it really really easy. If you're doing it for the first time though, you might not have all those amps, but at least having slippers just makes it a whole lot easier. And so it's just done very, very swift. What you gotta do? You'll see. past him real quickly. Trap should still be up, so I will be walking past him. Going to the next box right away. Now we're doing privates. A lot of times, since I don't, I'm not going to have my rig up just yet, probably going to have to... The other ogre normally comes out through here, and you have to bait him inside the dark. A lot of times, I'm surprised. Like I'd say like 75% of the time, he's already over here. So. I'm gonna bait him. Watch this. Close the door. Grab this and continue on. Also, I highly recommend you take the dark area instead of going right side. In my opinion, at least it's quicker and safer. Someone spawns here. It's normally an imposter. Yep. Let's see if we're lucky or not. Hopefully the ogre is just not right in front of my face. He's not. So once you do all right, once you do both boxes, you're just gonna run to back to the other side, run down the stairs, and then you're at part two. Bunny key and crown key. You look at these TVs to see what you need to get. Bunny and crown key is going to be out here. I'm going to rig up again, so I'm going to get right away. There's going to be an x ray guy with a bat. You normally don't need to do, use your rig until you hear him say, whoa! You know, where he like freaks out that he, hears, he sees someone. Save. There it is. Okay. Looking for crown. I. Crown. Very nice. 
Part two is done. Now we're gonna. I'm gonna preemptively just close this. Decrease the chance of the X-ray guy coming inside, I'm slowly walking his way, and randomly appearing when I come back out. We'll see. So you want to do this side first? Oh, not the opposite side because there's a film reel over here that you need to bring to the dark area. That's not good. So see, in the dark you're fine, by the way. He can't see me. If you ever get caught in a situation like this, just play the dark area and just crawl around. They will leave you around. They, or they will leave you alone. Fortunately, and by the way, you have to set three different frequencies. It's very, very easy. Same. Wasn't even perfect, and I got it right away. There's normally, yeah, between both sides, there's going to be three totally you have to do, and, you also, and the film reel should be somewhere on this side. And also, if you ever find any throwables, definitely take those. It just makes life easier. Whether it's for an imposter or just any of the NPCs. Here's the foam reel. I'm going to preemptively open this. The NPCs over here. Okay, I don't hear their frequency, so I'm just going to go to the other side. Close this. You might not see it right away, because it's in the dark. There's a door right here, though. If you're going to take this door, not go that way. You're going to get through the dark instead. A lot of times, frequency is going to be on the other side of this door. If not, it's on the other side. So, we'll see. <coughs> it's fun to bash it open, even if you're going to attract the guy over here. Because you can just do this. Walk past them. There's the frequency. I'm gonna put the film reel in first. Should have time to do this one real quickly. You hit once, that's fine, doesn't really matter. Once again, just bring it back over here. Alright, and that one's done. So, if the third one is not over here, it is somewhere on the other side. It's going to be right over here, most likely. Yeah. There it is. Alright. Now, for the final part, we're going to run towards the rebirth. Nothing's going to chase you normally out here. The very last part, you're going to have to run from something, and I'll show you. When you go up here, you want to just wait for your full stamina, by the way. Alright. Because immediately, once you drop, there's going to be either an electro guy or the puppy lady. And I would also preemptively put your goggles on as well. Take a left here. Take a right. Just like that. It took mo no more than eight minutes or so. And then you just gotta keep walking this way into the light. So you got about like 
10 to 30 seconds before this phone rings. And you just kind of like want to walk around or do whatever. You can even just AFK next to it. But yeah. This is kind of just the end game room. There it is. And just like that, if you play around your blind trap rig and have at least slippers on for your amps, you do as I did, and it should be a very easy process. You skip this part. And then it's also just kind of like the next part is... I'll just let it load, you can see. But yeah, if you want to click off this video now, that's just, that's the end of it. But, showing the end scene. There we go. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. So, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.